It's sunset in the Hula Valley in northern Israel. Thousands of cranes cawing loudly fill the darkening sky. They've come for a break during their 5,000 mile migration. Dan Alon is the head of the Israel Ornithological Center. Many, many hundreds of thousands, millions, I would say, of birds passing here, cranes, pelicans, ducks, songbirds, you name it. They all uh, on their way from Europe and Asia down to Africa for the winter vacation, if you want. And in the spring, they will pass back on the way to their breeding grounds in uh, Europe. Some of the birds will stay for just a few hours, others for weeks. This valley, which used to be a swamp, offers many facilities for the winged guests, including restaurants and pubs. The birds are coming there to talk about uh, their day, to, to eat some peanuts or some, some corn before they go to sleep, and to drink. So it's exactly the same as we use the pub. Birders from around the world fly into Israel each year to take part in the Hula Bird Festival. Jonathan Meirav is the festival's organizer. He says the tiny country of Israel, smaller than New Jersey, is blessed with hundreds of species of birds. Less than 500 kilometers, more than 500 species, okay? Uh, in comparison, the whole U.S., uh, Canada, you know, including Alaska, is scraping 1,500 species. David Bismuth, who started an internet bird watching site, has come to the festival from France. We saw thousands of cranes, um, but uh, also uh, some eagles that are very rare in uh, Europe, like the greater spotted eagle, and um, a few, a lot of uh, pelicans, uh, cormorants, and things like that. So it's very interesting. Yeah. I am here just uh, since two days, and I uh, watch a lot of birds. Here. Tristan Reed takes it one step further. His arms are tattooed with dozens of species of birds from Turkey, all endangered by new hydroelectric plants. He calls himself the inked naturalist. It's amazing. I mean, it's such an experience. It's not just um, because you're seeing all these cranes. It's a whole atmosphere of, of um, with all the mist and then suddenly all these cranes appearing out of nowhere. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a sort of an emotional experience. You know, it's, uh, you kind of feel your place in nature a bit. That's exactly what Dan alone likes to hear. We believe that in this time of the year, this is the place for bird watchers to be. So this is what we are trying to, to do. We uh, call bird watchers from all over the world to join us for uh, uh, field trips to see this amazing phenomena. It's not too late, he says. Many of the birds will be here until the beginning of the new year. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in the Hula Valley.